Hey, now I'm going to go ahead and take y'all into this, like, what I do every day with this machine. All right, so first of all, let's go to uh, Shift MIDI. It says, note sure, question mark. Ah, uh, you hit this arrow here. Go over. It says MIDI channel. It says T3 and T2 and T1. Now, from T1, it's basically, uh, it's standing for track one. All right, so that is when the uh, DR5 says MIDI channel uh, DR10. The MIDI channel is on number 10. All right, anyway, so um, a lot of times the drum beats is on channel 10. Okay, that's just how they made some of the drum machines. All right, so turn the knob. It says T1, standing for track one. So, All right, so from here, it says MIDI channel track one. So, so what, what y'all hearing there is actually is coming from, I sent the MIDI output to another um, uh, keyboard. So this is actually layered up. So I'm gonna show y'all what I mean. I'm gonna change the uh, sound on the keyboard See, this is what happens when you use it as a um, MIDI device. Y'all get the picture. Um, like, let me change it on something. Let me change. Y'all notice that I'm... I haven't changed anything on the drum machine. I'm just changing it on the external keyboard. So anyway, so let me change to MIDI track number two, which is normally the bass. Okay, now. I'm not getting no bass sound out of it right now, right? So if you ain't getting no bass sound out of it, uh, you I might have turned the volume down. So let me uh, go to utility, hit shift utilities, hit the arrow, and go over to where it says should be a volume. Now you can uh, actually you can go in here and mute like uh, it says mute DR uh, mute T1 track 1 track 2 or track 3 I don't want any of my stuff muted if I would have wanted it muted I would have hit this arrow here and would have went over and said on but I'm not so I'm gonna hit shift and I'm gonna go back to MIDI and I'm gonna go over to channel volume number two two hit this wheel switch over to number two i have it on zero for some strange reason let me turn it up all right so now i just switched it to um track number two let me exit out of this let me go back to midi shift MIDI, get out of there. Shift 
MIDI. Uh, all right. So let me go back. All right. Now it says track number three. It says track number three. And so normally what you would do if you if it says track number three, you switch your other device to channel three. Like, let me switch over my uh, synthesizer that I got hooked up. And let's see. See, now this is how you actually layer up your stuff. Y'all hear that crazy sound? That's what happens when you, um, you MIDI this stuff up. Okay, so y'all get the picture. So, all right. So, you know, um, let me show y'all what I'm talking about right quick, being that we uh, still on this machine. Let me hit shift and let me go to pattern. Okay. All right, so... All right, so like um, something like this, if the uh, if the bass All right, so uh, I tell you what. Now, how it works is that when this is sending this signal out, then if you was wanting to like send this to a computer or something, you would basically hit hit this button. You know, hit start. Send the MIDI output of here over to your. Um, your uh, MIDI device, the provinces that I used to work with when I was working with Cakewalk and stuff like that back in the day, it had like channels 1 through 16 and you would see, it would give you like a light to let you know whether or not it was receiving MIDI channels. But let me go ahead and try to funk with something right quick, alright? I'm going to switch my other keyboard to channel 2 and see what's happening. Hey y'all, hopefully, um, hopefully what I've shown you can help you out with this drum machine, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not that, um, it's not that hard, it takes a little bit of some time, but once again, you know what I mean, you just run that uh, MIDI output to that uh, MIDI converter to the USB and stuff like that, and you got a program that is able to pick all that up, you know, hey man. You know, you can be laying up some sounds and all kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, it's nice to be using some old equipment. You know what I mean? But anyway, y'all, hey, you got anything else you need to ask or whatever, go ahead. Feel free. All right? Hey, man, y'all be cool, all right?